This is a second video in a series of explaining how to use the iPhone with VoiceOver screen reader. I want to explain the differences between Siri and VoiceOver. Siri is a digital assistant and it's used by anyone who uses the iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch. That person doesn't necessarily have any, any kind of vision uh, issues. VoiceOver is a totally different concept. VoiceOver has one function and that is to read the elements on the screen. And you have to learn gestures to control VoiceOver. But Siri is your assistant. You can ask it to do things. You can ask it to send an email. You can ask it to do a text message. You can ask it to open a website. But once that website is open, you can't read the website unless VoiceOver is running. That is to say, someone with vision loss cannot read the website with only using Siri. So you need to use a combination of Siri and VoiceOver. I'm going to open my phone. VoiceOver is not running, so I don't hear anything. If I move my finger around the screen, I don't hear anything happening. So I'm going to just ask Siri to turn on VoiceOver. Turn on VoiceOver. Okay, I turned on VoiceOver. Once you've started Siri, now I've changed my Siri to a male voice. It has a female voice or a male voice. Once you've started Siri, it's still active and ready for you to give it a second command. So in order to go forward, you have to either give Siri another command, ask it a question, or dismiss it. And the way you dismiss it is to touch the home button briefly. Now, double tap to open. So I've moved back, I've, I've dismissed Siri, and I'm back on one of my home pages. So let's explore what we can do with Siri all by itself. I can say, call Jack, if Jack is in my contact list. If I happen to know that Jack's phone number is 408 blah blah blah, I can say, Call 408-257-1234. Siri will respond with calling and then repeat the number for me. So I'm just going to ask Siri, what can it do? What can you do for me? You can ask me to get directions, make phone calls, and send new texts and emails. I can show you lots more when you can look at your iPhone. So I'm just going to explore the page by... You can ask me to get directions, make phone calls, and send you texts and emails. I can show you lots more when you can look at your iPhone. Now notice that's a totally different voice. That is voiceover. Phone. Call Brian. Button. This is a list of various things that Siri can do for you. They're in categories. One is the categories about the phone. There's a category FaceTime. about FaceTime. FaceTime apps. Launch photos. Button. The apps, there's a, a category about messages. how to Tell use to messages, right the text messaging. There are various categories here, but I'm just going to open the one Call. about the phone. Call Ryan. Button. So I'm focused there. I'm going to tap with a single finger twice. That's the gesture to activate whatever is in focus. Phone. Call Brian. So I've got into the list exploring what Siri can do relative to the phone. Phone calls. Heading. Now I, I just kind of brought my finger down the screen to kind of explore a little bit. And now I'm going to flick to the right 
to go to the next element down the screen. Call Brian. So you can say to Siri, call Brian. Call Emily's mobile. Call Susan on her work phone. Call 4085. Call home. Call 911. Call the fire department. Get my call history. Do I have any missed calls? You can just ask Siri, do I have any missed calls? Redial that last number. So these are the various things that you can ask Siri to do. Voicemail. Heading. Do I have any new voicemail? Play me the voicemail from Emily. Help. Button. Okay, I've gotten to the end of that list. I know that that's the end of the list because help is at the bottom of the page. So I want to go back one step to that overall list, the categories. And in order to do that, I'm going to use something called the scrub motion. And this is to take two fingers, move it first in one direction, and then back. Left, right, left, or right, left, right. Zip, zip, zip. And I went back one step. FaceTime. FaceTime Lisa. Button. So, so this is the category list again. Apps. Messages. Tell Susan I'll be right there. Button. So sending text messages with Siri is very simple. I'm Now I want to read that section. So I'm going to use voiceover. I'm focused on the message section. So I'm going to take a single finger and go tap, tap. Messages. Tell Susan I'll be right there. These are things that you say to Siri to command it to do whatever you want relative to messages. Sending messages. Heading. Tell Susan I'll be right there. You can say, tell Susan, tell Jack, let's have lunch tomorrow. Send a message to Brian Park. You can say that instead. Send a message to Emily saying, how about tomorrow? Tell Lindsay the show is great. Send a message to Susan on her mobile saying, I'll be late. Send a message to... Four zero eight five 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 one two one two. So you can send a message, a text message to a phone number that's not in your contact list if you know that phone number. Text Brian and Emily, where are you? You can send a text message to more than one person. Tell Jack and Henry, let's meet Friday for a brainstorming session. Reading message alerts. Heading. Read my new messages. You can just ask Siri, read my new messages. Read it again. Responding to messages. Heading. Reply, that's great news. I'm flicking to the right. Tell him I'll be there in 10 minutes. Going from one of these list elements to the next. Call her. Searching for messages. Heading. Read my last message from Emily. Help. Button. Ah, I'm back at the bottom of the page. I'm at the end of this list relative to messages and I want to go back to the overall categories list. So the scrub motion again is to go across the screen and back. Zip, zip, zip. Two fingers. Right, left, right. Listen. Button. If you do it too slowly it's not likely to work. Okay. Now I think you have some concept of what Siri can do for you. You ask it questions, you give it commands, you ask it about the weather, you ask it to launch applications, but it is voiceover that reads the elements on the screen. This is the end of the second video.